Another very common type of device that you'll be working with is storage devices. Now there's basically three different storage devices available. You've got your USB drives, your SCSI drives, and your IDE drives. Now another new type of drive is the serial ATA drive, which depending on your hardware can be recognized differently by Linux. But in a standard environment, you're going to be working with possibly some USB devices, which are usually going to be external hard drives such as thumb drives or flash drives or maybe even an externally adapted IDE drive. Now because the SCSI implementation was already present in Linux, it was a lot easier for us to just map USB drives over and use them as an emulated SCSI drive. So we're going to go ahead and populate the PROC bus USB file system with any USB devices that are present. Now there's also a couple of other configuration options. You can use the USB manager to actually set up and configure USB devices, assuming they're not detected, which most likely they will be. And I'll show you a trick on how to set that up. Number one, we can actually use the PROC bus USB file system to take a look at USB information and configuration. But if you're trying to figure out if your USB devices are automatically registering, then we can move over to our virtual machine. And I'll plug in a USB device, for example. But before I do that, I'm actually going to use the tail command and basically what the tail command does is it monitors the end of a file. And in this example, I'm monitoring the end of the D message, which is going to allow us to see system information basically as it happens in real time. It'll output it to the screen for us. So when I plug in my USB device, we're hoping that the Linux operating system will automatically detect that. And as soon as it configures it, as you can see on your screen, it finds our bulk message timeout. It's actually configuring the device. And once the device is successfully configured, it'll even tell us where it was mounted. We'll go back and look at some of our previous examples of this and as you can see it actually went through and let's see if we can figure out exactly where it was mounted you can see it did mount it as a SCSI device it lets us know what type of information is there it's a USB mass storage device created by Rio with a carbon model and it's giving us direct access to it so as you can see having the ability to actually watch real time using the tail command in combination with USB and other on the fly configurations for peripheral devices can be very useful for us. Now aside from our USB devices we also have SCSI devices. Now generally SCSI devices are considered hot swappable but it's rare that you'll actually be unplugging and plugging SCSI devices in while the system is running. So when you boot your system up, the SCSI device will be recognized and will be mounted under the PROC SCSI SCSI file system and can be accessed through dev SD and then the number of the SCSI device that's been plugged in. And of course our final type, our IDE drives, will simply allow us to store files on integrated drive electronics storage drives. It's automatically configured for us and there's actually not a lot of configuration options. That happens outside of the operating system in the BIOS. So having the ability to work with SCSI, USB devices is extremely valuable.